Hi, I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. And I'm Mel Bartholomew with Square Foot Gardening. It's November! Hooray! Yes, and we still have our garden up yes. and running. Right. Halloween passed. We had some great pumpkins, and it's the holiday season now. Yes. Let's talk about extending our season. Now, this is only if you want a, a real challenge and you want to want to be a super great square foot gardener. Picture now a four by four block. We can easily build a cover for that and that would support some of the protection material that we have for the garden. Then you cover that with plastic, clear plastic. You weight down the sides or in the corners so the wind doesn't blow it away. And what do you have? A miniature greenhouse, right? Exactly. And it gets very warm in there. The problem is it might get too warm on real sunny days. So you have to vent it. And you have to either lift up one side uh, or open a corner. I use uh, clothespins to hold the plastic and that fits right into the, into the chicken wire. Or sometimes you can take a razor blade and cut a slit in the top. So when the heat comes up, they will find their way out and then that hot real hot air can, can get out. But when they collapse, then the cold air can't get in. Now, if you have a real cold night, you've got your framework, you've got your plastic, you throw a blanket over it. If the kids were out camping, what would you do? You'd go out at night, put another blanket on them, right? Well, we do the same thing with our garden. And you just throw a blanket over, the frame can hold the weight, and that'll make it nice and snug and warm. Because it doesn't need to get any sun. It's nighttime, right. so we can cover it fully with exactly. something that won't let any light in, because there is no yeah. light. There are obviously are other methods that we can use to extend well, our if, growing season. Now, if you winter. want a real challenge, I've grown through the entire winter when there's snow two feet deep and ice. They make, uh, they make uh, cables that you lay down and what you might do is, and I've tried this before and it, it's worked all winter long. You dig down into the ground. It's a little bit of work, but it's kind of fun. It's a real challenge. And you go down about 12 inches deep. And then on the bottom, you put about an inch or two of sand. And in that sand, you run your heating coil. And they come different lengths. And then that comes out. Now, of course, you have to plug that into an extension cord that you have to bring out from the house. And that has a thermostat in it and it'll keep that coil at uh, something like 68 or 70, 72 degrees. Sometimes you can adjust it. And then over that heating, you put a little more sand and then you put your soil on top of that. If you don't want to dig into your coil by accident, then you'd put down a weed cloth over that. So you have the sand, the cable, a little more sand, and then a weed cloth to protect it so you won't dig down into it. And then you put your soil, six inches of metals mix. It's still down in this 12 inch deep pit. So, and it's protected from the wind. Now again, we put the cover over it, plastic, blanket. And if you wanna put uh, a double layer of plastic, you could put bubble paper in between that. And now you have an insulated plastic over there. So you mean that bubble plastic? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah. So Very cool. I've got a lot of that around. I can try uh, that right. for sure. It's really a lot of fun. And it's sort of stretching the point of I'm still gardening <laughs> because it's a lot of work, but it's a real challenge. It's fun to do. I think everyone should at least try it once and see how it goes. Well, I'm going to try it this year for sure. And we are going to have a tasty, fresh salad on our Thanksgiving table right. this year. I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. And I'm Mel Bartholomew, wishing you happy gardening.